God revealed his wisdom, laws, and instructions through his final book, the Holy Quran. The Quran states that in every age a book is revealed. God has sent forth a number of books in the past, but the last and final revelation is the glorious Quran, which was revealed to the last and final prophet Muhammad. All of revelations preceding the Holy Quran were sent only to a particular group of people and pertained only to a certain time period. Yet the final and ultimate revelation, the Holy Quran, was not revealed for only a single group of people, such as Muslims or Arabs, but for all of mankind until the end of time. It reigns as a book of guidance intended not only for the people of this era, but for all generations to come. The Holy Quran is the verbatim word of God. Unlike other sacred scriptures like the Bible, the Quran has been perfectly preserved in both its words and meaning, and in a language that still exists today. Whereas Muslims believe that the original Bible was sent from God to Prophet Jesus for the Israelites, the Bible has been altered, disordered, and modified during the last centuries so that it contains words of man and not the divine being. The original Bible and the Jewish Torah of today, as they are published, do not consist of their exact original scriptures in their pure and unfettered form. Whereas the Holy Quran confirms the existence of the books that were sent before it, including the Jewish Torah and the Bible, the Quran abrogates all previous scriptures and becomes the book of guidance for all humankind. The Quran was revealed to guide humanity through every aspect of their lives. The Quran is a guide, an instructional manual on how one's life should be lived. The Quran is also a personal guidance book that will navigate one throughout the course of his or her daily struggles, much like the instructional manual that accompanies a newly purchased computer or any electronic device, dictating how the machine should be operated. One is advised to read the instructional manual of life, the Qur'an, and live in the way that our Creator has decreed. How would man know his role and purpose of his existence unless he receives clear and practical instructions regarding what God wants from him or her? If one follows the instructions carefully, then he shall be rewarded with a better life here in this world and in the hereafter. On the other hand, if one disobeys God and goes against his commands, then he shall face consequences in this world and in the hereafter. The Qur'an is the primary source of Islam for all Muslims. The book is and always has been written in the Arabic language. The Qur'an is so unique in context and style that it cannot be translated. Therefore, any translation is to be taken only as an interpretation of the meaning of the Qur'an. Distinctions must be drawn between the Qur'an and its translations. Any translation of the Qur'an is not the Qur'an in its true and pure form. It is simply a translation and or an explanation of the original masterwork. A translation of the Qur'an is not the word of God, as only the original Qur'an contains the exact Arabic words spoken by God, as revealed to Prophet Muhammad by the angel Gabriel. Different translations of the Qur'an are intended to help non-Arabic speaking audiences comprehend its meaning. Still in all, there is only one Qur'an. Since each translation of the Qur'an is not the original work and is only man-made in context, it is an imperfect translation bound to contain errors. Granted, some translations may be superior in their linguistic style or their interpretations of the Qur'an. Yet, there remains only one true version of this timeless book. If a Muslim in Asia reads a verse of the Qur'an, one can be sure that another Muslim is reciting the exact same words in faraway Africa. No differences will exist between the two recitations. God has promised always to preserve the Qur'an, protecting the book from anyone attempting to modify or change its text or message. God has promised in the Holy Qur'an to guard his book against any man-made modification, distortions, additions, subtractions, or tampering in any form. The word Qur'an linguistically translates to mean recitation, referring to the recitation of the words of God via the angel Gabriel to Prophet Muhammad. Then the Prophet recited these same exact words to the people. The Qur'an was first revealed in the holy month of Ramadan, which is the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar. 
the remainder of its message was revealed bit by bit for the next 23 years. Each passage was revealed in the wake of a certain major event in the life of Prophet Muhammad. Finally, the book was assembled as a whole in his lifetime. The Qur'an was conveyed to a prophet that was unlettered, that did not read, write, or calculate, and that had no education. These characteristics serving as a sufficient proof that the holy text was not authored by him. The Holy Qur'an is a widely known and memorized document. In fact, the Qur'an is the only book that is memorized by billions of people of all ages around the world, of all languages or backgrounds, from one end to the other. The Qur'an deals with all subjects which concern human beings, such as doctrine, wisdom, worship, law, transactions, and more. Its main theme is the relationship between God and His creation. The Qur'an teaches the art of living. The Qur'an contains guidelines and teachings for both individuals and society as a whole. The Qur'an also contains guidelines and teachings of proper human conduct, an equitable economic system, ritual worship, ethics and moral behavior, business, government, and more. The Qur'an is like no other book in that it serves as an infinite source of intellectual wisdom and spiritual elevation. It cleanses the heart. The Holy Qur'an teaches that one should be truthful and never lie or cheat. The Qur'an teaches us to give charity to the poor and to be kind to our parents, neighbors, family, and friends. The Qur'an is the greatest miracle of God. The Qur'an is proof of the truthfulness of Islam. The Qur'an is the standing and everlasting miracle. The Qur'an contains thousands of miracles to prove its godly origins. The Qur'an is a miracle because it is inimitable in its style, form, and spiritual impact. The Qur'an is a miracle as it contains hundreds of scientific facts later confirmed to be true, years after the book was revealed. The Qur'an is a miracle because of the power and effect it wields for human beings all over the world. It changes millions of people's lives and views. It transforms people into better human beings. The Qur'an is a miracle because of its amazing spiritual power and psychological effects. The Qur'an is a miracle because of how it changed and impacted human history in so many ways throughout the years.